Yo, uh, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Kevin with Optimize Decentrals and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to optimize your sleep, okay? Have you ever, you know, just felt like garbage for a while, most of the time, and then gotten a deep, restful sleep where you slept for nine, 10 hours and you just wake up feeling refreshed? Well, if you have done that, how would you like to feel that way every single day? Well, if you want to feel that way every single day, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you the secrets, how to optimize your sleep so that you get consistently good sleep, all right? Because a lot of people in today's society are sleep deprived. A lot of the ailments are coming from sleep deprivation, okay? And that's what we're gonna be talking about first, the symptoms of sleep de deprivation and the dangers of not getting enough sleep, okay? So let's get right into it. How do you know you're sleep deprived, all right? How do you, how do you know you're, you're not getting enough quality sleep? Well, here are the things to watch out for, all right? The most obvious one is you feel tired and unrested, right? If you don't get enough sleep, you're obviously tired, okay? You're feeling slower, more stupid, and dumbed down. You know, your brain's just not working, right? You're having cognitive, cognitive problems, problems with your memory, attention, focus, because your brain, is not fully recharged. Your body is not fully restored physically. So you're feeling slower, you're feeling weaker, you're having trouble with decision making, right? You might make bad decisions. You might be more forgetful, right? Someone tells you to do something, yeah, I'll do it. You forget about it, oh, wait, uh. You just feel everything just doesn't work as well, right? You're having extreme bouts of moodiness, right? Your emotions are all over the place. You're feeling more irritable low blood sugar, you're grumpy and lashing out at people. Ah, don't tell me to do that. Ah, right? Irritability. That happens. It happens to me a lot when I have low blood sugar, right? After I hit a long workout and I'm fasted, ooh, do not talk to me. I will get snappy, right? I will bite. Arr, arr. You have low libido, no sex drive. Your partner wants to have sex if you have a partner or if you can find a partner. <laughs> you have no sex energy, right? No oomph, no drive to fornicate. You have no passion for life. Groggy and gr grumpy, right? Just what we mentioned, your brain and body literally feels exhausted, feeling physically weak, right? Your muscles are just weak, fatigued, which we talked about. You're always falling asleep, whether you're in class, at work, you're always dozing off. I find that if I'm not getting enough sleep in the afternoon, I get very, very tired. If I do get enough sleep in the afternoon, if I eat a nutritious meal, my energy goes like this, okay? It's like in the morning, I feel good, and then afternoon comes. If I don't get enough sleep, it goes like, but if I do get enough sleep and I eat, it goes like, back up again, and it goes really high, depending on what I eat. Okay, always needing naps. If you're not rested, your body's gonna wanna fall asleep again, right? You gain weight very easily. Why? Because in a state of sleep deprivation, you have chronically elevated levels of cortisol, which are your stress hormones. And cortisol, if you didn't know, will cause you to put on more fat easily, right? You get fat when you're stressed. It's true, guys, it's true, look into it. Poor endocrine system function, meaning your anabolic production, your anabolic hormones, like testosterone, growth hormone, all that is gonna be hampered when you are sleep deprived because your body needs to rest. It can't produce growth hormone and testosterone and anabolic hormones to repair your body when you're sleep deprived. You need to sleep. And if you didn't watch my previous video, which I just filmed because I have so much energy, right? About proper nutritional intake. If your body doesn't have the proper nutrition on board, it ain't gonna repair shit when you go to sleep, all right? It has nothing, I mean, it, it will, but it's gonna be minimal. It's not gonna be as optimized right? Optimize the essentials, guys. It's not going to be as optimized as if you had the nutrition on board, right? If you have the materials to repair your body and your brain, you're going to wake up feeling even more refreshed, even more refreshed, okay? You're going to have hormonal balances, right? You might, you might have an off ratio if you're a man. You might have low T, low testosterone, high estrogen, so you'll feel more like a female, also known as a bitch, right? You might feel more or less of a man. And then it's also the main source of many, many, many 
health issues nowadays, right? Sleep deprivation, malnourishment is gonna be a huge con contributing source to a lot of the physical ailments that we have, mental ailments, mental disorders, personality, bipolar, you know, OCD, anxiety, depression, a lot of that is gonna come from not being fully rested, all right? Now, before we go into, you know, how to optimize your sleep, let's discuss the benefits of the quality of benefits of getting quality sleep, which we probably don't need to discuss, but I want you to be aware of what you should feel and how to know when you get quality sleep. And then also things to avoid that will interfere, that will guaranteed interfere with your sleep. Okay, so when you get quality sleep, this is what will happen. You will have improved memory and cognition. Your energy levels will be all time high, like what I'm feeling right now. Your clarity will be razor sharp. You'll know what you need to do. You'll have, you won't have much emotional, mental noise going on because you're clear, you're in equilibrium, your body is powerful, it's ready, it's in position to attack anything that you put your mind to. You'll have higher levels of energy and motivation for life. You'll have good physical recovery, meaning you could hit a hard workout and the next day comes along, going at it again, all right? Going at it again. You have good mental recovery and mental readiness, meaning if you have a stressful event that it comes to you, your boss yells at you, your spouse yells at you, your kids yell at you, or someone you don't like yells at you, you're in a better state to handle that because energetically, you are there, all right? And that's what happens when you sleep well. Basically, you wake up feeling refreshed, all right? That feeling of, ah, I just got some good sleep. I feel so good today. Just remember that time when you sleep, just slept in and you felt amazing? Well, that can happen every day if you follow these principles. And before I give into what you should avoid, I left this out. Think about your, your body, your cells, right? Your, literally, your cells, your organs, your brain as a battery, all right? That's kind of not the best analogy, but it's a battery that slowly dims and drains over time. And each thing that you do in life, every activity that you engage in, every stress that you have depletes that battery, that energy level. And the lower that goes, the less your body will perform, the less your brain will work. And if you don't sleep to recharge it back up, or you don't have the nutrition on board to charge it back up, your sleep deprivation will go on and on and on and on. So your body, think of it as a battery that you need to recharge. Think of your brain, your cells, your organs as something you need to replenish. When you don't replenish it, you'll feel stressed, you'll feel depressed, you'll feel low energy levels, you'll have anxiety, you'll have moodiness all over the place because your body just wants you to not do anything and relax and be yin, right? Yin and yang. In today's society, we're too yang, we're too aggressive, out there, doing, 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 making money, consuming things online, watching too much porn, watching too many cat videos, watching too much Netflix, watching, 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 watching. Nothing to restore, nothing to yin out, right? Balance your body out with yin activities. Finally, no, not yet, not, not finally. Things you must avoid because it will interfere with you, your sleep and you will get consistent, poor quality of sleep, all right? Caffeine consumption, all right? Especially excessive amounts and especially if it's close to bedtime. Caffeine will keep you up, all right? It's gonna make it hard for you to sleep. And caffeine will also stimulate your adrenals, all right? Too much caffeine is gonna call, uh, cause adrenal fatigue. Adrenal fatigue will make you feel chronically fatigued. Your system will literally burn out because you're pumping too much cortisol, too much stress hormone into your body, and you will get fat, stress, depressed, tired, fatigued, lethargic, apathetic for your life. And this is not an if, it is a guarantee, okay? So if you're gonna drink coffee, I highly recommend lowering the amount, just drink half of it and dump the rest out or just avoid it altogether and drink some alkalinizing foods like spirulina and chlorella, right? This, I've been experimenting this with this recently. I put spirulina, chlorella, and matcha together, 
It tastes, and I put some Himalayan pink salt and that in the morning, man, my meditations, my lifts have been so much cleaner than if I were to drink bulletproof coffee, all right? Coffee is super acidic on the system, at least for me, and I know many other people that have it. And what it does is it, it makes your body just acidic. But when I drink that alkaline, I, want, I, I, I talked about alkaline water, not alkaline water, but when I drink alkalinizing foods like spirulina chlorella and a bit of matcha too, that makes me feel super alert, super light, clean, and I am like at the gym, you know, just getting it, okay? So, okay, drinking too much alcohol too close to bedtime, all right? When you drink alcohol, alcohol has been shown, I think it, it, during deep, it messes with your deep sleep or your REM sleep or both of them. And why? Because alcohol is literally poison, guys. It will cause your body to just cringe up and you don't want that. You do not want that, okay? So too much, drinking too much alcohol or drinking alcohol close to bedtime, that's gonna interfere with your sleep, guaranteed, all right? Large meals before you sleep, before bed. I used to be, okay, look, my parents and uh, people used to say like, oh, don't eat two hours before bedtime. And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, I'm, whatever, I'm healthy, right? I, can, I got this shit, I, I got it. And then as I realized, as I gotten, you know, more sensitive and in tune with my body, I realized there's a lot of truth in that. When I eat large meals, my stomach feels so uncomfortable before bed, all right? It's not saying you shouldn't eat before bed, but if you eat a large meal before bed, what ends up happening is your energy will be directed toward metabolizing that food. And as a result, your body cannot fully recover and cannot get into deep sleep and REM sleep properly because there's just so much shit in your system, even if it's healthy food. Big meals, especially of meat at night, that is gonna interfere with your sleep, okay? So another thing to avoid, right? Too much sugar before you go to bed. That might mess with your blood sugar levels. Uh, I've had fruits before that I slept fine with, but you know, just putting that out there. So that one's kind of iffy for me. Uh, it depends on what type of sugar maybe. Uh, excessive bright light or blue light exposure. I promise you, if you're using your phone or you're on the laptop playing video games or you're watching porn or you're doing stuff that is blasting you with the light, you're going out grocery shopping, the light is going to send signals to your body and that's gonna mess with your circadian rhythm because it's gonna think that it's still daytime and your circadian rhythm is gonna be all out of whack. Your body's not gonna produce melatonin which will help you fall asleep better or get more sleepy and tired towards nighttime and you're gonna have, a, you're gonna have trouble going to sleep, okay? Okay, exercising too late at night, that's gonna ramp up your cortisol, stress hormones, right? Anytime you run and run for too long, excessively exercise with intensity, that's gonna jack up your cortisol because that is a stressor to the body, right? Exercising is a form of stress. Yes, it can be a form of good stress, but too much exercise, especially late at night, is gonna elevate your cortisol, and cortisol is an antagonist to melatonin, which again, melatonin is that hormone or that chemical in your body that will help you get sleepy and tell your body it's time to wind down you know, but if you have cortisol up there, it's gonna suppress your melatonin and your body isn't gonna be able to sleep because it's wired, right? It's tired and wired. You get, oh, I forgot to leave this out. You can't sleep if you're getting chased by a bear, right? If you're going camping and you hear some rustling noises, instantly, poof, your cortisol, your heart rate's gonna go up. So if you elevate your heart rate and you elevate your cortisol by exercise before you go to sleep, good luck, good in sleep. Even if you're really healthy, I mean, I've done it before, even, as someone who's really healthy, it still takes me time to wind down. Even if I like breathe, really do meditation, slow my heart rate down, it still takes me some time to go to sleep. So don't exercise too close to bedtime, okay? And then the last but not least, things to avoid that will guarantee interfere with the quality of your sleep or make you not be able to sleep at all is any form of mentally stimulating activity, all right? Anytime you're using your phone on social media, anytime you're watching porn late at night, playing video games, there's gonna be lingering residue in your brain, mental activity that you can't sleep, all right? I'm not gonna be honest with you guys. When I used to play video games and watch porn, which I stopped, right? No fap is the way to go, sex transmutation. When I stopped, when I, when I would do that, I noticed that when I did it too close to bedtime, I would go to sleep and in my, the, like literally in my, the, the front projection of my mind, I'm still playing video games, right? Like, I'm like, oh man, like I was playing League of Legends. I would still be last hitting. I would still be 
like playing video games, like, holy shit, like turn it off, turn it off. And then if I watched porn, which I don't mind sharing with you guys, the pornographic images or videos would replay my mind. It would just be like, God damn it, stop it, stop it. Ah! I should probably bleep this out, you know? You gotta be professional, but hey guys, I'm enjoying expressing myself. And uh, this is a journey of self-discovery, self-expression. So I'm not going to put the beep on it. I'm just gonna let everything flow out, all right? This is me, guys, this is me. Okay, so yes, any form of stimulating activity, mentally stimulating activity at night, too close to bedtime is going to replay in your mind and it's gonna cause your mind to be too active to go to sleep, okay? So now let's get into the good stuff. How to optimize your sleep, okay? Now this number one, people are gonna be instantly triggered, right? They're gonna be like, no, that's not true, or they they might deny it. I, I I gave even some more leeway. All right, this is what I'm this I'm gonna share with you right now. Sleep before 11 p.m. Okay, now I, oh man, I wanted to even say okay. Paul Check recommends 10:30, and I wouldn't even say I wouldn't even say 10. All right, if you get to, the earlier you can get to bed, like nine, eight might be pushing it a little bit, but like nine to ten, if you can sleep between nine to ten, or you know what works best for your schedule. A lot of people, there's going to be, I personally find that if I can get to bed before 1030, before 11, for sure before 1030, and then before 10, if I sleep as it approaches 10, I wake up around six and I feel great. I'm ready to go. I wake up and I'm not even like, you know, when sometimes when you wake up and you still feel tired, well, if I sleep before 10, I wake up and I don't feel tired. I'm like ready. I'm ready to go. And it's still dark outside too. So it's crazy. The reason for this is because for those who will practice these six parts that I'm sharing with you, you will notice that your body is more in tune with the stars, literally, the sun and the moon. That's why the water rises at night and flow, it comes back. There are certain things within your body, the circadian rhythm, the, your cells, you are part of nature. It interacts with what's going on here. That's why people who don't believe in electromagnetic pollution is not sensitive enough in their body to feel what EMF does to your body, all right? If you are sensitive enough, you'll know that your body is in tune and in harmony with literally the star, the universe. So when you're sleeping past a certain time, you are not allowing your body to get into those deep restorative sleep and you're not allowing yourself to get into REM sleep and all that because you're not in, in tune with the energy of the universe and you can't you can't reverse that guys i'm telling you it, i've tried it's like even the people who work graveyard shift and have swapped it around they're not healthy guys i promise you they're not healthy if you follow the principles of light and dark yin and yang sun and moon the rise and the fall and you go to sleep with the circadian rhythm i guarantee you you'll feel good so that's number one sleep before 11 p.m if you're sleeping at midnight, try to get down to 11.30, taper down to 11, ideally 10, 10.30, and then work it down to between nine to 10, guys. This is something I had a lot of resistance towards in the beginning. You might, and if you do, trust me, give it a try. Number two, work out hard, resistance training. If you physically push your body, not in a stupid way, guys, watch my videos on lifting with good form. If you push your body properly, You'll get good anabolic hormones. And also by the time you hit the hay at night, as soon as you hit the bed, you'll be KO'd, okay? Sleep early. Wait, no, I meant to say wake up early, all right? So sleep early, wake up early, physically active, like use your body, and then make sure, number four, you're well nourished, as in you have enough nutrients on your body, in your body to restore yourself when you go into sleep. Make sure you're getting your vitamin D from the sunlight. Vitamin D signals a lot of different processes within your body and it helps integrate a lot of the vitamins and minerals in your body to properly repair and nourish your body during sleep, okay? Vitamin D is essential. That's why people who don't get enough sunlight, they look pale, weak, and easily broken, okay? Deep, when you're, okay, now when you're in bed, you want to perform deep, slow, controlled breathing 
as in you want to inhale for as long as you can, as long, as slow as you can. Typically I can inhale for like 10, 15 seconds. If I really draw it out, I can hold it. So I can 10, 15 seconds. I can hold it for another 10, 15, maybe longer. And then I can exhale for as long as 20, 30 seconds. But in the beginning, you might only do like five to 10 seconds inhale. The more you train this breathing, which I'll share with you on the sixth part, I do that like three times, which is like I take three breaths in a span of three to five, three minutes, okay? As in one, like inhaling, holding, breathing out in one minute. Some people breathe like 15 to 20 times in one minute. If you can control your breathing, breathing once in one minute or two minutes, you guys will be super deeply relaxed within the next five minutes, if you get what I'm saying. So I take like three of those super deep, long, relaxing breaths. And by the third one, I just let go and relax. And then my breathing goes naturally. It's so subtle that I just fall asleep. Like literally, I breathe so deeply, so long, so controlled. It brings me into such a parasympathetic state that I can just let go and I just knock out, guys. It's that simple. And then you can also use binaural beats, sleep induction. You can wind yourself down through, uh, so I recommend listening to at least theta. So th theta will prime you to get into that, uh, that state and then it'll slowly drop you into th uh, to delta. So you wanna go from theta to delta, ideally. There's some different binaural beats you want to uh, try out. There's one that I watch, it's called Advanced Sleep Binaural Beats. It's uh, an hour and 30 minutes long. If you type in Advanced Binaural Beats Sleep on YouTube, you'll probably find it. And uh, that one is pretty good. Um, it takes you from alpha to, to theta to delta. So it takes you to that cycle and then you it, it, that will help you transition. Um, and then also a pitch dark room, all right? Turn off all the lights and get some window blinds to block out all of the light. Make your room literally a cave, okay? Unplug the electronics. You don't want electromagnetic pollution up in there. That might influence your ability to sleep. So you want that noise, that electricity off. Take your phone, put on airplane mode. Do not allow Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to be on your phone during sleep. That will potentially mess with your sleep, especially if it's right next to your pillow, right next to your, your bed. You don't have to trust me on this, but if you're watching this, you might as well give it a try, okay? So, and then if you, this isn't really how to optimize your sleep, but if you can't get enough sleep, uh, power nap, all right? With binaural beats, theta, 30 minutes, or below or less, that's gonna help you really supercharge your brain when you can. And then finally, number 10, last but not least, not about optimizing your sleep, but do not engage in mentally stimulating activities before bed. Read a goddamn book, all right? Do something that will allow your body to wind down. If you're using social media, if you're using things that stimulate your mind before you go to sleep, your mind will be active, your brain will be tired, but there's gonna be a discrepancy and your brain will take over, your body will be restless and you won't be able to sleep. And that's it, guys. I know it's a long video, but if you watch these six part series and you open your awareness and you apply these principles, I promise you, your life will never be the same again, okay? So it was Kevin with Optimize Essentials. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with a friend. Comment down below, let me know what you think, if you have any questions. And that is it, stay tuned for the next part, number four, which is gonna be movement, right? How to optimize your body, your movement, your exercise, okay? All right, bye guys, peace.